ready for a game of bowling? Okay then. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bowling balls for you bowlers to choose from. Drag a bowling ball to this bowler. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bowling balls on this rack. But we had to take away one ball to give this bowler. So now there is one fewer than seven balls on the rack. Counting backwards one from seven, we get six. So seven take away one is six. Now drag a bowling ball to this bowler. Now there are only one, two, three, four, five balls on the rack. We started with seven balls on the rack, but we had to take away two to give to these two bowlers. Counting backwards, one, two from seven, we get five. Five is two less than seven. So seven take away two is five. There's another way that we can write seven take away two is five. Click on these words. Seven minus two is five. Hmm. Minus means to take away. So we can say seven take away two or seven minus two. But you know what? We can use signs instead of words to show that seven minus two is five. Click on the arrow. Seven minus two equals five. So this sign means minus. And this number sentence means that when we take away or subtract two from seven, we get five. The difference between the number of balls we started with, seven, and the balls we took away, two, is five balls. But if we started with a rack of five balls, how many balls would we need to add to get seven? Drag each of these bowling balls onto the rack. So if we have seven and we take away two, we get five. And if we have five and add two, we get seven. There are ten balls. And so far, we haven't <laughs> taken away any. So ten minus zero is ten. Click on the up arrow or on the down arrow to change this number, the number that you are subtracting from ten. Watch how this other number also changes. Now let's bowl. Click on each bowling pin. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These ten lights show that there are ten pins standing. At the moment, all the lights are on because we haven't knocked any pins down yet. Okay, let it roll. Hmm. Now there are only one, two, three, four, five, six lights left because there are only six pins left standing. Let's look at this lane to remind us what we started with. Here, there are ten lights to show that before we bowled, there were ten pins standing. Click on these lights. Now, click on these lights. Now we can compare the ten lights we had before we bowled to the six lights that we were left with after we bowled. Click on the arrow. We can see that there are six lights here, but more than six lights here. There are ten lights here. If we take away one, two, three, four lights, there are six lights on both sides. And this is the number of lights we were left with after we bowled. So ten minus four is six. Drag the signs and numbers into place to show that ten minus four is six. Click OK when you're done. Well done! This number sentence shows that 10 minus 4 is 6. 10 minus 4 equals 6 shows that the difference between the number of pins we started with, 10, and the number of pins we knocked down, 4, is 6. 6 pins were left standing. Click on this up arrow or this down arrow to change this number. Watch how this other number also changes. These six lights show that there are six pins standing. But if we wanted to start another game, we'd need ten pins. We have six, so how many more pins would we need to add to get ten? Six plus what number equals ten? Drag the number here, then click OK. That's it. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 6 and 1, 2, 3, 4 more is 10. So if we start with 10 and take away 4, we get 6. And if we start with 6 and add 4, we get 10. Okay, go for it. Right. Well done. You've completed this lesson. Click here to go to the practice area or click here to return to the menu.
There were eight pizza slices here. Three of these slices were eaten. How many slices are left? Click on a number. When you're done, click OK. That's it. There are five pizza slices left. Counting backwards, one, two, three, from eight, we get five. Eight take away three is five. So there are five pizza slices left. There were nine rabbits here. Two of these rabbits have gone. How many rabbits are left? Click on a number. When you're done, click OK. That's it. There are seven rabbits left. Counting backwards, one, two, from nine, we get seven. Nine take away two is seven. So there are seven rabbits left. There were nine sodas here. Three of the sodas were drunk. And now there are six sodas. Drag the sign and numbers into place to show that 9 take away 3 is 6. When you're done, click OK. That's right. The sign and numbers go here. 9 take away 3 is 6 is the same as 9 minus 3 equals 6. So the sign and numbers go here. There were seven balloons here. Two of these balloons burst. And now there are five balloons. Drag the numbers into place to show that seven take away two is five. When you're done, click OK. That's right. The numbers go here. To show that we are taking away 2 from 7 to get 5, we write the number 7 here and the number 5 here. 7 take away 2 is 5 is the same as 7 minus 2 equals 5. There were nine apples here. Some of these apples were eaten, and now there are only five apples left. How many apples were eaten? In other words, nine take away what number is five? Drag the number here, and when you're done, click OK. That's right. Nine Take away four is five. There were nine apples here. Some of the apples were eaten, so there are now five apples left. Comparing the number of apples here and here, there are five apples here, but there are more than five apples here. If we take away one, two, three, four apples, there are five apples on both sides. So the number of apples that were eaten is four, which means that nine take away four is five. There were five sweaters here. Now there are only two sweaters. How many sweaters are missing? In other words, five take away what number equals two? Drag the number here. When you're done, click OK. That's right. Five take away three is two. There were five sweaters here. Some of the sweaters were taken away, so there are now two sweaters left. Comparing the number of sweaters here and here, there are two sweaters here but there are more than two sweaters here. If we take away one, 
two, three sweaters. There are two sweaters on both sides. So the number of sweaters that are missing is three. Which means that five take away three is two. Good work. You've completed these practice questions. Click here to go to the workout. Or click here to return to the menu. You've got an order for seven Sundays. Well, here they are. Time to bring them to the table. Oh no! You've dropped some Sundays. Well, you started with seven Sundays. But how many are left on the tray? How many Sundays are on the tray? Click on the number, and when you're done, click OK. That's it. There are one, two, three, four Sundays on the tray. Hmm. So how many Sundays fell off the tray? Well, you started with seven Sundays. Then a number of Sundays fell off the tray, leaving you with four. So how many Sundays fell off the tray? In other words, seven take away what number equals four? Seven take away what number equals four. Drag the number here, then click OK. That's right. Seven take away three equals four. So three Sundays fell off the tray. You started with seven Sundays. Some of those Sundays were dropped, so you were left with four Sundays. To make the Sundays easier to compare, let's stack them. Click on the notepad. Now we can compare the seven Sundays you had at the start and the four Sundays you were left with. Click on the arrow. There are four Sundays here, but there are more than four Sundays here. If we take away one, two, three Sundays, there are four Sundays on both sides. So three is the number of Sundays that fell off the tray. Seven, take away the number of Sundays that fell, is four. So we had seven Sundays, three were dropped, and now we have four Sundays. Better be careful this time. We don't want any more accidents. Good job. You've completed this workout. Click here to go to the next lesson, or click here to return to the menu.